Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Another beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for a tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping on. Oh. Hey, Eric, I was curious, um, do you have like a certain ROI that you go for each product or do you not worry, really worry about like ROI? No, I don't really look at ROI, but I can tell you as a company, our average ROI is about 45%. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't really look at, well, the only time I consider ROI is if like the, the product's a dollar, right? If, if the product's a dollar and I'm making a dollar on it, then I'm like, I'll be a little more prone than if the product was $10 and I'm making a dollar on it. Yeah, because I have like a lot of my products are like either a dollar to like three dollars and my margin looks like 10 percent and it looks terrible. But then I'm making like a dollar fifty on spending two dollars. So yeah. in my head, I'm like, that sounds good to me. But no. but the margin sucks, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's good. Absolutely. The only thing and I, I, I bring it up to my buyers at least once a month is I always tell them to be mindful of those lower selling ASINs, you know, that $7.99 product, $6.99 that you got for $1.50 because the difference between $7 and $6 is the difference between making a dollar and not making any money, you know? So it's like the, the lower the listing is, the easier it is for it to go or break even or lose money on. Okay, that makes sense. Good, good question, Eric. And I, I've, I've heard you guys mention it and, and a lot of other people. It's one of the things I, I guess I have a hard time wrapping my head around is why is the industry standard for profitability, the metric that everybody measures, the margin instead of ROI? I mean, maybe it's because I spent so many years in the hedge fund world, like your return on investment, isn't that what we all kind of care about? Um, as opposed to, you know, if the price of an item changes, it's almost like a, a moving target, a moving metric, whereas your ROI is seems a little bit more reasonable or, or measurable, right? So why is that more the industry standard by which we measure uh, an item's profitability instead of ROI? Well, I think for a few reasons. So one, when, when you're thinking about even like, just for example, selling an Amazon business, right? Like they're not looking at the return on investment. They're looking at how much profit did this company generate? And then they're putting a multiple on it, right? Same thing at the end of the year, when you go talk to your accountant, he or she is not gonna say, how much money did you put in at the end of the year? And now how much money did you get back? They're gonna say, no, you did this over 12 month period of time. And this amount of money is how much your net profit was. And this amount was how much your gross profit was. You know, so it's just from analyzing a, a business standpoint. So it makes sense to be congruent with the same way that you analyze your business quarterly, monthly, and annually to be congruent with the same way you're analyzing your products when you're purchasing them. Okay, cool, thank you. I actually had this discussion when we first started selling with Rachel because Rachel's the accountant. And that's what they, when it comes to big corporate accounting, they don't look at our, they look at profit margin and a couple other types of margin, but when a company is buying another company or selling a company, or you want to see the a company's evaluation, any company evaluation, you're going to be looking at your GP, you know, how much that company's making, because, you know, for us, we, we can have a hundred percent ROI on something, you know, that, but it weighs 90 pounds and you lose all your, all your ROI on shipping. Right. So when it comes to, I, for a long time, I was ROI everything. And so when it comes, basically when it comes down to evaluating the business, that's what they look at. And also if you're going to be getting a loan, they're not looking at ROI. They're looking at, you know, how profitable your, your business is. It's kind of like your collateral. Okay. So maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just calculating it wrong. Cause when I look at ROI, I'm looking at that as being the profit after I'm taking out all the expenses. Then you're no, looking at that. So profit. after all your expenses, okay. it's going to be your gross yeah, profit. Yeah, yeah. So return on investment is just that. It's how much did I put in, and then after, you know, sales yeah. revenue minus your basic expenses, uh, your shipping and stuff like that, you're looking at your return on investment. 
But once you start looking at rent and everything else, it's a different, it's, you're basically looking at the profit of it, the profitability. But also from the standpoint of your company, it's hard to measure gross ROI versus net ROI. It's just not looked at it that way. So it's looked at it from a standpoint of here's the revenue and then bottom line, where's the money flowing? How well does the money flow? So how much, and so, and an Amazon company doesn't really look that nice uh, because <laughs> it, it, it doesn't, we're a first generation of really besides like catalog shippers where there's a substantial cost that's being embedded into uh, actually they used to not even do it the way that we're doing it where we're embedding a substantial amount of cost into the the sales price so it looks like you have this huge amount of top line and then the bottom line is so minimal compared to that but that's really also because we're embedding the cost of shipping into it when prior to that shipping used to be separate Gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you. And I know y'all still got a lot of questions. There's missing pieces to the puzzle. It's just short Instagram clips, social media clips. There's only so much value to be provided. So what Sebastian and I are doing on June 2nd is answering your questions live. Smash this link to be there. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Have a good evening. Good night. See you at the top. Good night, everyone. Hey, lit.